Happening now, healthcare workers are off the job and onto the picket line. This morning, pharmacy workers with Kaiser Permanente launched a 21 day strike, citing unfair labor practices and staffing shortages. It's 71 degrees on the first day of October. Thank you for joining us for Coin 6 News at 5. I'm Brandon Thompson. It's the latest strike after teachers, nurses, and auto workers in our community going beyond the headlines. Joelle Jones is live with what workers are saying. Joelle, you're also finding out what this means for patients. That's right, Brandon. This union represents nearly 380 local pharmacy technicians, clerks, and other warehouse workers. And with this strike slated to last three weeks, Kaiser Permanente says they are already developing a contingent plan and expanding their network of pharmacy locations. Roses are red, violets are blue, KP is rich, how about you? Kaiser Permanente employees in the Pacific Northwest will join thousands of healthcare workers across five states that are striking against understaffing. Starting today, pharmacy employees with labor union UFCW Local 555 started a 21-day unfair labor practice strike. This comes after union workers voted in September to authorize a strike if contract negotiations weren't met by the end of the month. So we have a number of unfair labor practices that we've charged Kaiser with. Uh, some of them include the failure to disclose bargaining and grievance information, direct dealing, as well as trying to dictate to the union who may serve as its representative. The strike affects the Sunnyside Medical Center in Clackamas, Westside Medical Center in Hillsboro, and the Regional Lab Airport Way Center in Portland. And it comes just a few weeks after the UFCW 555 chose to break from the National Coalition of Kaiser Permanente Unions, which has been bargaining at the national level since April. A move the union says was in the best interest of workers, and Kaiser says has complicated negotiations, stating in part, given that UFCW 555 has been unwilling to bargain with us for weeks, Weeks, we feel strongly that their call for a strike is premature and unwarranted. Our goal remains to reach an agreement with the union that strengthens our position as a best place to work and ensures the high quality of care our members expect from us remains affordable and easy to access. We've got a solid offer on the table that addresses their economic and staffing concerns. Now, union reps tell us workers will be on the picket lines up until the strike ends on October 21st. You can read Kaiser Permanente's full statement, including their hiring progress, at coin.com. Reporting live in Portland, I'm Joel Jones, Coin 6 News.